Welcome to Nutrition for Happy Life, where we start every morning with a deep breath. So today we are done with a raw food workshop or raw food class, however you want to call it, and it was so much fun. Uh, we create chips, dip, um, salad dressing, protein bars, and then we just start playing with the food. So then we create a, our own new recipe of creamy um, tomato soup with spice. I don't even know what it was, but it was so good in the end that uh yeah we all loved it so that is basically uh the point of all of it while you're making food <clears throat> to have fun to enjoy when you are making food and to know that when you're eating it you're really nourishing your body so um I'm gonna try to post some of those recipes on YouTube and you'll see maybe you get inspired to try some of them. Um, so yeah, um, and today what I would like to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, is the skin. What to put in the skin and I got inspired with a um, workshop and besides the food, that's what we talked about was also the skin. Um, when you put good and hydrating things and liquids into your body, your skin is just going to start to glow. Um, as a matter of fact, the, the most complaints I get um, when I am you know, uh, taping or when somebody else is taping me, well, you just shine too much. And then, um, when I was, you know, in the television, they tried to put like so much powder into my face, not to glow. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, to ma mask the glow. Um, but anyhow, for a healthy skin, um, the first thing is first, put a nourishing things into your body. But the second thing, what I would like to share, uh, it's to put something in, on your skin that you can eat, basically, and make it yourself. And uh, yeah, I do pretty much everything myself from a scrub to... Um, you know, the, the different, I just put different oils, you know, to, to feed uh, my skin, um, um, different types of vitamins and, and um, to provide and to help my skin being a little more elastic. So I use a lot of coconut oil and you have seen a coconut oil, I, you know, put a little bit in a jar um, it gets hard when it's cold it warms up and it's liquidy when it gets really hot so what I do um, in a winter time or when the lemons come around <coughs> and um, uh, I'm lucky enough to um, get some organic um, oranges and lemons and then I just slice them up very thinly and I sliced up the peel and everything just peel and maybe use some of the lemons uh, to eat but then use the peels do not throw the peels away organic peels lemon and oranges and actually dip them in half the olive oil and half um, coconut oil and put them next to some sort of heat device or fireplace or whatever you have at home, radiators, I don't know what you have at home. So just and have them and keep them for two months. And then that's what, in the summertime, that's how it's gonna look. So I put oil, and I don't know if you can see, there is oranges, there is, um, 
Yeah, there is some of peels in there. You know, I used orange, I ate the orange, but I didn't throw the peel away because it's organic. So I put them next to, I sealed them tight so you can, you know, it seals already tied. Uh, so it's airtight. And I pull, put them next to some sort of heating device. So every now and then I mix it up. And then in two or three months, I got coconut oil that smells so divine, like a lemon, it's fresh. And every time you put that on your skin, you just smell, you know, just something refreshing. And you know, it's good for you. And you know what? It's cheap to make. None of the fancy schmancy things. And it's, it really your skin start glowing um and uh what um one more thing that it's very important uh for your skin it's exfoliation so one of the recipes i use it's very very simple i use uh olive oil and little grind up coffee and then I just exfoliate my whole entire body. So I just make a little bit for you here. It looks like this. I don't know. I'm going to try to pinch it up. So the consistency is like this. Uh, there it is. I don't know. So you just take that <clears throat> in your shower and you just like stir it and scrub it and your skin is going to get bright red the blood is going to start um circulating but don't be too hard on your skin your skin it's also sensitive just you know be gentle but you know and and you're gonna you're gonna re re-energize yeah that's the word that i'm looking for re-energize the whole entire body with it so that is two things I would recommend uh, to do and easy to make, very, very inexpensive uh, compared to store-bought and you have access in almost every household to make it fresh uh, every time. So when you go in the shower, when you want to exfoliate, just put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of coffee, go and exfoliate. And then in the um, summertime, you're going to have that nice coconut, lemony, refreshing cream um, that, you know, you're going to uh, feed your skin. So that is it for today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I talk too much. I talk the whole entire day on a class and then uh, trying to make that video. So, yeah, I'm going to go for today. And you guys stay well and stay healthy and good night for today.